All right, this is a spoiler warning. If you are playing Osworn or if you plan to play Osworn, don't look at this. If you're not going to hurt my feelings, turn it off. Hit a bookmark on it. Come back later. All right, there we go. This is the uh, Unknown Horrors. And you can tell by the sound of my voice, I'm still not feeling very well. Been sick for a couple weeks now and uh, just caught the run. So, yeah, great. I want to say thank you to all the YouTube members for all of your awesome contributions. You guys help make this channel possible. You guys are amazing. Hit that subscribe button. We're doing the rest of Osworn. We got Frosthaven coming up. Darkest Dungeon, we're going to do some Warhammer miniatures, we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff, so don't hesitate, jump in there, hit that follow button, hit that bell, without further ado, let's go. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is want to scrape off all those nasty mold lines using Craft Knife, or whatever you have using this one I got off Amazon. If you need anything, check the description below for everything that I use. I do take a small fraction of a penny of everything that is sold on there, but it does help the channel. Next, I'm gonna airbrush on our miniature with some uh, black Vallejo primer. Uh, if you wanna use spray paint, you can. I just feel like the airbrush is a better method of doing this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a dry brush of Mechanicus Standard Gray or whatever neutral gray you have onto your miniature. Now you can tell my voice, not still 100%, but you're going to get that miniature nice and primed up and ready to go with that dry brush. Next we're going to take some white and we're going to focus this on the, f the head, the shoulders, and the quadriceps most importantly. Uh, and this is going to add to the colors we're about to make and how it's going to stick through more than others as you're about to see. All right, we're gonna create our variant tone here using our contrast medium. In the liquid, very liquid spot, or the last spot you wanna do, we're gonna put the most contrast medium. So three to four big brushfuls onto that last spot. And then we're gonna go three, two, and then one. With the one to one ratio, we're gonna take some of that Magos purple with a contrast medium, create that nice little color right there. And then we're going to take some Levathian purple and we're going to create our nice tone variants. Now the thinnest one with the most contrast medium has got the four drops in there or the three, whatever you got. And then we're going to go down the line. This is going to create our nice little tone variant when we're going to be going into our miniature. Basically we're going to paint it using contrast and at one point is going to look darker than the others. Um, basically you want the darkest points to be under the armpits, the areas that don't get a lot of light. And for the last variant, we're gonna use one part uh, contrast medium, two parts apothecary white, and one part Levathian purple. And that's gonna give us this nice little color you see on the far right here. Using the apothecary white mix, we're gonna start adding this onto the head, um, neck, shoulders, front chest area. We're gonna start spreading this all over. Now you can already see that the zenithal highlighting has already created it to be uh, bright in some areas and that's exactly what we want. We want it to be brighter in some areas and we're going to highlight this up with a dry brush later in the in the episode but as you can tell it sticks right through and that's exactly what we want. We're going to use that apothecary white mixture again and we're going to use that on to the quadriceps as well. Um, you can use a little bit of this on the shoulders going down the arms as well but we want to start breaking off into our other colors to start uh, making a darker look as well. Starting to go down the line, we're gonna to go to the next color and we're gonna use this on our abdominal muscles. 
a little bit on top of our arms as well start creating that variant if you want to mix that a little bit into the very light regions on the quadriceps the head and the shoulders and the top portion of the chest you can do that as well now the contrast is also going to give you a delayed drawing time a little bit and that's exactly what we want because we're going to mix some other colors in here as well specifically some red into the chest area that you'll see here in a moment Continuing down the line, now we're going to use this a little bit underneath our arms as well. On the back calf area, start building up those contrast colors. We're going to use this on our legs as well, sometimes on top of our feet. We're also going to use this on the claw areas on our arms that I did not show in the video anywhere for some reason or another. So the claws on the feet and the claws on the arms that are sticking up. At first I thought that they were going to be like a bone color, but they're definitely not a bone color. So make sure you paint them with the purple as well. All right, as we are moving on, we're gonna take some of this red here and we're gonna put this on the front portion of our arms. Now this purple might be all the way dry, it might not be all the way dry, but it is going to be uh, a nice little purple reddish color with the Blood Angels right here in a second. Now when you put this on the chest, it might look a little bit, oh man, this looks kind of, I don't know about this, trust me, take a leap of faith, it'll be just fine. It's going to dry, it's going to mix that purple pretty well, and you'll see what we're doing here in a minute. All right, now that all of your contrast colors are dry, we're going to take some of the Dichala Lilac and we're going to use this on the head, shoulders, uh, a little bit on the quadriceps as well. This is going to create that bright tone that we're looking for that you see in the Unknown Horror card art. Next, we're going to start building up the red on the chest. As you can tell, that purple and that red mixed in really well together. So just for future references, if you have something that you want to do like that, probably wouldn't be a bad, bad thing to do. Take some of that Mephiston red and you're going to start picking out some of those muscle areas and create that nice red variant. And then for this specific miniature, I did some on the chin area as well, because you can tell by the card art that this is the only one that had some on the chin. Next, we're going to take some of the Evil Sun Scarlet and paint up over this Mephiston Red, uh, building up our red color as well. And then finally, as a final highlight, we're going to take some of that Wild Rider Red and use it sparingly on our red areas just to make that brightness just a little bit more deep. For our teeth in the bone areas, we're going to use some of that Morgas Bone. Now, 
I mainly use this on the teeth and in the front part of the rib cage and you can see that it's sticking out. You can also go as far as using on uh, the pelvic area of our unknown horror, but I decided not to just to save a little bit of time. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. It might look a little bit better on the pelvic region. Because uh, you can see in the card art, I just kind of skipped over it. I'm also using this on the back of the Unknown Horror from the spikes that are sticking up, as you'll see here in a moment. Now we're not going to use a wash on this, we're just going to go over it and create our uh, highlights as we build them up. We're going to take some Ushabdi bone and we're going to use this on all of the bone areas that we've already uh, went over with the Morgas bone. As we're building that up, we're going to take some of that Screaming Skull and go over the same areas. Followed by some white on the a little bit on the teeth, top portions of the bone, and the top portions of our rib area. And as we're finishing up, we're going to take a couple colors, some military green and rattling grime. We're going to put that onto the base of our miniature, followed by, you'll see here in a second. Some Abaddon black because that means that the painting of this miniature is done and it's your favorite part. Oh, my nose, my body, does that feel great? But it didn't turn out too bad. It turned out pretty good, actually. These are something that, you know, you don't want to spend an inordinate amount of time on because once you fight it once, it's over. But it's over. I want to say thank you for watching this episode. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing, being a YouTube member, and all around just watching the videos. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. We're going to be doing a lot more videos soon. Again, we got some Frost Heyman, Darkest Dungeon. So until then, paint on.